Hello and welcome back everybody, I'm Wonprap Bavarian and I'm happy to see you again. We are still Grafo Uberto of Verona. Now we are Venetian and I have seen this come up as a point of contention. But the thing is, what you gotta realize, the Lombard League, I mean the Lombard League never had these borders, but the Lombard League had about these borders. And the Lombard League had Venice and the surrounding regions of uh, Verona as very, very core cool kind of, you know, cities involved in it. So I think it makes a lot of sense to maybe not have it focused around Milano, which I believe is around here. Which one of these is Milano? You're Milano, so in uh, Bulgaria. To not have it focused on there, but maybe this time around focused on Verona. Speaking of Verona, now you will know our lord and his lovely wife, Judith, that we are trying to gain, you know, the hand of uh, and more. Uh, he is actually a historical character. I read about him because, you know, you have the nifty Wikipedia link there, and he was... Lord and Duke over Verona in name only. He never properly ruled there. You know, his uh, son later on would focus on the rule in Canton and so on and so forth, but he never really had much influence south of the Alps. Now, in this game, uh, in this mode, he kind of did, meaning that, you know, we're going out here now and... Which one did we... I can't remember again. We had a, a faction member. I think it was you, Conona. Yeah, he now gained German land because we, f we felt that our Herzog was uh, too involved in it. Isn't that funny? We humiliated him so much. Now, we have been seen as an extra extraordinarily noble man. Uh, that might change with the fact that we are trying to date the Herzogin, so the wife of the Herzog. We'll put this up a tiny little bit, by the way. Curse to be a bit too quiet, but what should our new ambition be? I mean, we're 61, you gotta remember that. Come Duke, I don't think we have grand ambitions like that. I don't think that makes any sense. Uh, I would like to be seen as pious because that would be a good cover for dating the Herzogin, wouldn't it be? Nobody would suspect the man that is oh so pious in his daily pursuits of happiness. Let's hunt some apostates as well and then let's fire it off. I'm excited where this story is going. Tonight I was visited by Judith in my dreams. When I woke up I would, could still hear her velvet voice echo in my ears and feel the comforting weight of her hand on mine. Oh, graceful angel, most wise beauty, my heart aches for you. I must find her before she leaves, absolutely. By the grace of God, Judith had not yet left. I found her in the garden, taking a stroll. She let me join her, and soon our conversation flowed as easy and pleasant as a leisurely summer's day. In the end, I had to profess my love. She rejected me most virtuously, but I could tell she was moved by my words. It, I will give her time. By the way, while all of this go uh, is going on, I think I will send you west. We can't stop the Aquitanian Liberation Revolt, but maybe we can actually stop the uh, invasion by the Provence. Maybe not. Maybe there are more important things to do. My liege, my work at Treviso seems to have to com uh, come to fruition. You know what? Now I'm actually gonna... I know, like, from your perspective, this doesn't make that big a difference. For me, it does. Uh, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the Grafschaft of Treviso. Alright, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to beat the crap out of you, buddy. Is n oh what? You have so many troops. When did that happen? All right, how do I go against you? How do we do it without being crushed? I could go against him, try to you know annihilate him. Question is just, can my kid? You are married, right, France? I remember this. How do I go against Treviso, and how does he have? this many troops and he even has a claim on me see i didn't didn't notice that immediately but that is threatening can't excommunicate him pope does like us but he doesn't love us what do we do about it what do we do about him treviso as she's growing older i can see that cecilia could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas diplomacy this is my chance to make an effort for the sake of her education but what can i offer Right, this is the French lady, or actually, not the French lady. Oh, Celia, she's still the 14-year-old, and she's the daughter of William the Conqueror. You want an alliance, my friend. Nice. Honesty of nothing, or gregarious. I want to teach her honesty. Alright, we are now allies, my dear friend. Would you join me? It appears you wouldn't. Alrighty, well. Seat on your council to become the steward. I mean, I'm an old man. I don't think I'm the right pick for the... I'm not gonna take it. Look, I don't hate him. You know, I don't love him. 
but I don't hate him entirely. I think primarily it's just he fired me from the council. I do remember this. He did fire me. And now he's re-offering it to me. I'm 61. I'm, you know, I'm done with the world. And look at this. The Aquitanians are actually going to take over. I must send Judith something to assure her of my ardent feelings. I have understood that a lady such as she appreciates having poems dedicated to them. However, a fine fur, uh, fur never disappointed anyone either. I could write her a poet. I could just spend money. I think I'm gonna, you know, I'm a Venetian. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna send her some money. What's the problem? Ambat Manfurio expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. His contribution to the realm is significant, and his military strength is not to be ignored. So including him in the council may eliminate a potential future threat. What are you good at? Stewardship. You got an eight there. You are not an important vassal. Now, Mario, you know, I like you. You're a good dude, but listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name him. Somebody has to name this man. He may be possessed, but he's a powerful vassal now, isn't he? And we are at war with Poland. Ah, but he's defending against Poland and in the name of the heathens. Slavic heathens. Why would he defend them? That's just an embarrassment. Quite frankly, the Kaiser yet again showing that he does not respect the church. And I'm not a zealous man, but I'm an Italian. And you know who's also Italian? The Pope. He's Lombardo to begin. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, Graf Umberto has given up the ghost at age 61. He died a natural death. Always patient. He never lost his temper. A godly man, Umberto is with the Blessed Virgin now. Graf Bonifa Bonifacio, ever willing to entertain his spouse, we expect the royal family to grow and prosper. Long live Graf Bonifacio. Huh. I didn't expect the death there. I will admit. Uh, I will admit it to you. And he is a schemer. Maybe I should focus on intrigue, uh, intrigue. He's not an excellent warrior. I think I'm going to go with diplomacy. Just because he already had a fairly high skill in it. And at the end of the day, you know, intrigue is just a new form of diplomacy if you think about it. Right, what should his ambition be though? He's not a very ambitious man. You know, he's lustful. Could win a war, have five children. What's our succession law again? It's Gable kind, but we only have one son at the moment. You are not pregnant, so that is fine. And you are a Capé, meaning that, you know... Jesus, they're getting absolutely pummeled. Look at this. Aquitaine, is this for the kingdom or for the duchy? There is no duchy of Aquitaine. Oh, no! Is Aquitaine as a whole going to become independent? I can see it, and I also fear it, quite frankly. Oh, and you're also just a kid now, huh? What do I need? Piety and money. Let's push for a claim. Treviso shall be mine. Alright, what shall our ambition be though? Dude, I don't know. Hmm. Become a chancellor? Hmm. What's his opinion? He really hates our liege. I mean... You know, let's amass wealth. If he hates our liege like that, then he will know that at one point we will have to rebel against him. And rebelling against the liege means a lot of things. Now, he's a trained diplomat. So maybe I should assign, you know... Ooh. Carmelo. Diplomatic education. Let's do it. I'm ready. If we get another claim on Treviso, maybe we're gonna make it out of life here. Uh, what do you want? Steward. You know what? I'm going to take it. I don't like you, but I want influence. And I should also join one of these factions. And I feel like tradition faction would be the best. There you go. Oh, he now holds. Oh no, he's just a marshal. He still holds those two titles. I don't like you. Why Why do I... Why do you don't... Not, oh, because you're a title claimant? For Vicenza. Ah, interesting. A weak claim too. Interesting stuff. Ehrmann changed his title. An invitation has arrived from Graf or Marquardt of Eppenstein, calling all members of our faction to assemble at Eppenstein. This could also be the time to consider whether to call a vote for Graf or Marquardt's impeachment as faction leader. I think so. I will, I will call for him to be removed as leader. Absolutely. I want to be the leader like my father before me was. As the faction members gathered in Eppenstein, it immediately became clear that the meeting would not be able to continue until the issue of Graf or Marquardt's leadership was resolved. A vote of no confidence has been put before all of those present. Yes, he must go. 
has been removed as the leader of the faction. The faction meeting has been disbanded and will resume when the new leader calls for the next one. Am I the leader now? Doesn't look like it. God damn it. I'm the faction leader. There you go. We've done it. Let's hold a, uh, let's hold a meeting. I think I will go ahead. How is our faction standing? We are neutral. So let's... Let's stir discontent. We've done this before. Denounce him before the assembled lords. Harsh truths are hard to accept. The mood of tradition faction is worsened. Mind my fellows, though my wards mostly fell on deaf ears, such open descent nonetheless soured the mood of the room a little. Very nice. We've done it, boys. A group of hedge knights have come to visit Verona. Ambadman Camelo has met with them and asks for my reply. Welcome them with a lavish feast, absolutely. Um, the Hedge Knights have participated in a minor tournament together with our Knights in Rheinfelden. Sadly, one of those landless vagabonds has been severely injured. I'm gonna pay... Hmm. I'm gonna pay for some medication, sure. What I also want to do... And let me take a look at this. What I also would love to do is... Is the... Are you still here? No, you're back at court. I understand. Disappointing. But as disappointing as it might be, we are in a really strong position. We're back in the faction leadership here. We're lustful, so we're not going to join, you know, an order that preaches uh, the celibacy. But I would really like to do something against our dear lord and leader. Why are we at war with the Danish as well? Interesting. Ah, and here we go. Beautiful. That's a lot of money, but I'm going to get the claim nonetheless. And Treviso, of course, is ruled by a child, meaning that I should have a fairly easy time to actually take it. Let's do our best. Let's at least try our best, I suppose. Go get him. All right, everybody gather up in Vicenzo. Why are you unhappy? Why are all of you unhappy? I'm not a tyrant, am I? Short reign? Mm -mm. No particular reason, it seems. Alright, all of you. I hate our leadership. Dude, we actually have straight up the worst leaders to ever be seen here. Mm -hmm. Man, all of you are terrible. Camelo, what's your role? And I can't reassign you. God damn it, dude. Give me, give me some military leaders here, please. Toggle alone? No. Toggle employment decisions. Get a soldier. Costs so much money, but you know, a soldier is worth more than 25 bucks. Yeah. Well, somebody that can actually lead an army in my world? Unbelievable. Now, those are mountains, if I'm not mistaken. So, this is a very, very tough fight. Uh, where can I see that? Straight... Those are hills. Hills are not as bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Can't hire one. Huh? I'm just going to go in then. Man, that's so many negatives. I don't know. Can I lure them out? Yeah, they. I can. Get lured, you son of a bitch. Still so many negatives. Is this actually like a hill... Uh, mountains here? No, just... You know what? Let's just fight him. We can get him. I believe in us. Yeah, we wiped him here immediately in... in both of these flanks. So, with that being done, I think that is a very, very easy way to go ahead and kind of end this war right here. I mean, we're done. Just gotta siege it down and then we'll be done. Oh no, we have a rash. Don't do this to me. I have a rash no longer. Whatever was left of your rash is no longer visible, and the spot where it was no longer causes itching or pain. I'm gonna name Giona, our court physician, and designated regent. Who's my wife again? You're my wife. You shall be my regent. If it ever comes up, let's hope it doesn't, but you know, just saying. Alberto, my son. Ooh. Celia. Oh, Cecilia. You know what? Yeah. Bit weird, but you know, a bit weird because she was betrothed. And I think like technically in game terms married to my father, so his grandfather. Well, that's fine. I mean, don't worry about it, yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna take the money there, by the way. And let's siege it down. 
Yep, there you go. First in Sicilia. You offer me gift and I owe you a favor. You know what, German? Get out of here. Pregnancy was, has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling, unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's craving should always be accommodated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have I heard this? Uh, how often have I heard this, huh? But I'm gonna pay 1.4 bucks for you to be happy, sure. Please give me a daughter, not a son. I could imprison the Lord, and I shall do that, because imprisoning the Lord means that I can end this war. Now, where does he get exiled to? Apparently nowhere. Ah, there you Oh, he's now with me. Really? I'm gonna sign myself as a guardian so that he doesn't rebel against us. He has to stick with us, you hear me? That's the goal. But with that, just like that, we suddenly hold Treviso. Now my question is, is it a son or a daughter that you're bearing, woman? Also, am I building this? Does it look like I am? Am I upgrading these? Look at all this money, I don't think I am doing this. How much money are you making? Quite a decent amount, actually. It is good tradition. Right, let's have some maids to patch, uh, dispatch. Did I ever... Oh, we don't have auto build installed, so this is not me. I was confused there. Maybe it was a Kaiser something, I'm not sure. But thanks, nonetheless, for <laughs> carrying me up. Really appreciate it, my friend. But here's the deal. We now hold almost everything that makes up the Duchy of Verona. We only miss Padua. Or Padua. Padua? I don't know, dude. All that matters is we miss that piece of land. And with us missing that piece of land, we're kind of looking at a dire situation because I would love uh, to proper, uh, properly be the lord here. If if I were to take Padua, then I would, I think, immediately rebel. Also, can I change the laws so that I can hold more titles, please? No? Can't change any of these either. I mean, I'm okay with, with these. No, that's fine. Mm. Can't change anything. Alright then. We need to become a duke. And we have a son, of course we have a goddamn son. Ah, oh, what could I change my laws to? Seniority? Maybe. Uberto. You little traitor. Ah, that sucks. It sucks for us, because we're going to lose some land. There's this tradition. My wife Emma underwent her churching after recovering, cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. She felt much better when she returned, clearly relieved to have fully rejoined the church after a forced abstinence. You know, the way I see it, though, Gavelkind, as much as it upsets you as a player, it also has made a lot of sense. Obviously, Bonifacio loves both of his sons. You know, Uberto came into his life just very recently, and Alberto is a very, very good son. You can see that here uh, yourself. Good diplomacy, you know, he loves them. They just, they're good, they're good sons. So giving each their own is fair game. You know, that, that makes a lot of sense. I don't want to undermine that principle. I think it is a basic principle of, you know, medieval rule and how it worked. And yeah, look at this. Holy crap. Ray Alphonse, the liberator of Aquitaine. France is split and potentially forever. My wife. Now as a claim for a kingdom that is worth nothing. I will ally them nonetheless. Just for the record. Alright. Um, how do I go against you? I need I need Padua. Padua? Padua. I, I, it's tough to pronounce them. To, you know. You know how it is and all that. He does not have that big and a, a troop amount, you know? Even now that the pregnancy is over, my wife's cravings for exotic foods have yet to stop. I'm starting to think she's just taking advantage of my generosity to grow fat. I'm not that generous, is the thing. I think you've had enough. It seems my advice fell on deaf ears. Every day that passes by, my wife keeps stuffing herself like a goose. So much for moderation. The good news is they would only lose one title. You want Loberg obligation. You know, I'm actually voting in favor of that because that makes everybody pay more money and I'm okay with that 100%, dude. Hmm. I don't know. 
I'm starting to think Gloria might fancy me. We are lustful. I think I'm gonna go with it. It's good to be the Grafo. Hello, Gloria. She wants to get married, huh? Maybe I should marry her off. But to somebody close. I don't want to send her too far because then, you know, having intercourse with her would be too difficult. To whom stuff could we send him? None of those. Every all of those are so far away. The Chateau Noir. Maybe that kind of makes sense. I guess we have family in France anyway. You know what? Let's do Lothringen. And every time we pass by to visit the King of France because it's our family, we're gonna meet our lover. That's that's fitting, isn't it? And uh, let's hold a faction meeting here. I will also uh, give us what we want, or civil war. Surrender one of his many titles. Let me take a look at this again. Ah, we're not that strong is the thing. Hmm. But he actually likes him. You know what, never mind. I will just strengthen my... Uh... Actually, let's do it like this. So he obviously hates me, but... You know, with this going on, denounce him before the assembled lords. Our truths, all right. It, it went a bit, became a bit heavier. He's stressed out now. Our faction is not as strong as it once was, you know. Young Alberto has finished his education and diplomacy. It seems he has learned all the basic skills required. He's terrible, dude. What's up with that, Alberto? You idiot. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually gonna change my focus. We are lustful. He's married to a beautiful lady. I can't... What? I can't actually seduce her? And he had a daughter. I can't seduce her, really? Hmm... Who can I seduce? I want... Wait, 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 wait. Seduce... Cecilia. Ah, she's sick. And she is chaste, so it just doesn't work. Well, how's my lord doing? And his lovely Judith. Let's try to seduce her. We know our father fancied her. I don't think there was a secret. Let's try to fancy her, or to make her fancy us, and weaken Herzog Hermann even more. The response from Herzog and Judith of Zering wasn't quite what I expected. Apparently I am to, uh, to stay away forever. Well, there we have an answer. <laughs> that certainly didn't work out as we intended. We have so many religious leaders around us. Aquilea and uh, Trient, both ruled by one. I really need Padua, I'll be honest with you. I need it. Desperately need it. Conversion of Lutici. So they are now good Christians. And they are also tribu- Ooh. They are tributaries of the Emperor. Interesting dynamic there. Hmm. Put in prison Milonus and Bonifacio, which is one of our kinsmen. What is he doing? Kill my son. I think I love my son, right? I'm just going to tell him to end his plot. And speaking of that, let's just take a look. That's the only plot that we know about. All right, well. Ooh. Why am I not getting my claim, though? Can I just declare war against you? I claim Padua in his name, but that's not enough. We just don't have the piety, do we? Ahmad Man Fortunato expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. All right, let's take a look at this. You are excellent as a steward or a diplomat. And even here, you are not terrible. You're a genius. Oh my goodness, he's amazing. Oh, you're a terrible spy master, but I can make you this, and then everybody's gonna be happy. Instead of drilling the commanders, Marshal Fortunato has been fighting them. There's a truly a lack of discipline. Hmm. I wanna give him a chance for sure. You're not gonna you're not gonna get a title, mate. I'm sorry to tell you, I know you're disappointed because you expected me to give you a title, but you're not getting anything. Ooh, get out of my land, please. Steward, huh? Don't think so. I just don't think so. 
Embezzle? Are you kidding me? The council is against imprisoning him. Oh, because we're missing one. And now they are in favor of it. Stay there, buddy. If I were to banish him... Sure, you know what? I'm gonna banish him just to show what it's like to betray people like me. Don't you ever forget it. And he just went one city over. I think that's okay, actually. He went over to Padua. And I shall haunt him there. If everything goes right. I'm gonna give him a chance here. I'm not gonna substitute out any of my leaders. And my wife is pregnant yet again. Why don't you... Yeah, why don't you split my land even further? Huh? God damn it. My lover is also with child. We must have visited the family. Lord of Lothringen. <laughs> uh, Bishop Giona expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. I don't think so. Pregnancy has caused my wife. Right, we've seen this before. Strong-boned women are the only women that we marry here, it appears. So you want to become the new spy master. Neither of you are important in the grand scheme of things. Sure. I will, however, go on to try. Come on, dude. Just give me the title. I really do need it. If we hold all of this, we can easily rebel against our liege and would have no problem, I would reckon at least. My wife Emma asked me to buy her some new clothes. Because of the, uh, the pregnancy, she has outgrown most of her wardrobe and now she feels frustrated for not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance at court. My dear, you do not need new clothes. You're already wonderful. Ah, I was robbed. My lovely young wife Emma has expressed her boredom several times in several ingenious ways. The court is boring, hunting is boring, embroidery is boring, her ladies-in-waiting are boring. And she wants me to make the boredom go away. Sure. Oh my god, my... Alright, Capé, give me a child, I guess, and make it a girl if you can. A son was born? Of course. Let's just lose all titles we have. Why not, right? I need to, I need to destroy this man. Ah, uh, how do you go about this? Request a claim, maybe? No? Why not? We're so close. Quite close, actually, yeah. If I buy Indulgence of Sins... Glory to God, yeah. That's a decent amount of piety we just got there. It seems my dalliance with Herzog and Gloria has resulted in a child. Fortunately, Herzog Dietrich II thinks little Gerhard is... is... Look at him. Look at the Italian bastard. Beautiful. Um, how much do I need? 150. It's not that far away. I've had my eyes on a feisty young scullery maid with huge intellect for some time now. Though this, she skillfully dodges the attentions of every boy and greybeard at court, I have her blushing furiously whenever I gaze into her eyes. Seduced and wrapped around my finger, this sharp lass could be very useful. I'm gonna make her la a lady, and now we have Valeria as our lover, and I will just marry her off, I'll be honest with you. Why not Fridnjano? Whatever that is. Look at this, yeah, now I can travel everywhere, I will always find a lover of mine. Isn't that right? How dare you, first of all, and what are you even? My marshal, huh? Kick you out, nerd. We're just minutes, seconds away from actually being able to claim Padua. And my wife is with child, now let's hope that her husband... Oh, and he knows! <laughs> He does know. Hmm. What's your succession lawyer? Gable kind. Oh, that. What? It's all going to the same person? Oh, you only have one son. Oh, but you are pregnant. With a difficult pregnancy. Please, let me. Tell me it's a, it's a boy. If they split, that would be terrific. Absolutely great. It's a daughter, of course. Why are you sieging me down? Yeah, that's what I thought, nerd. Get out of here. And I think we have to declare without a without a claim. Um, Bonifacio, the son of Valeria, 
I will announce the child. I have never heard the name Bonifacio. Valeria still loves me. You know, everything's fine. Lustful worship. What does that mean? Lover, lustful worship. No, I actually don't know. But you know what I do know? I know that this is my land. Not your land. And I shall take it... He has so many troops, I didn't see him. Oh no. Oh, this is good though. He's walking into me. No longer. Well, could have worked. Alright, we do have more troops than he does. So, in theory, we should be able to win this. And now he's actually taken this fight, huh? You know what? I'm going to take it. This war, this opportunity to prove my mettle in combat has opened my eyes to my true potential as a warrior. My personal combat skills are improving. And we are destroying them. Very, very nice. So this is a one war right here. I shall take all of this and make it my own. A daughter was born. Very nice. Ombretta. Almost sounds like Omletta. Do you have the Omletta? You want to tell me about Satan. I don't think we're sinful enough. I don't think we're sinful enough at all. If you think about it, it, it would look out of character, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm so hyped that we're finally taking Padua. Take the child that ends the war. And on we go. We rule! Boys, we do rule. I swear. Start a... An elective faction in Seringen? Ooh. Wait, I'm alone in my faction now? Alrighty. Well, where's the independence faction? I could just declare a war of independence, but I would get utterly destroyed in this. Oh, maybe we can't do it because we are in a war together, technically speaking. Hmm. I mean, we clearly hold way too much land. I gotta get rid of you at this point. Create a new vassal here. Maybe I even want to change my law over here. Although, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't tell you into what. Maybe seniority? Can't really do it, even. Damn. So the way I see it, we will be split, undoubtedly. Now, that doesn't mean that that is the end of the world. But it does mean that we're in a bit of a pickle. I don't know how we will get out of this in the next episode, but it must be clear that in this family, we will become free from the yoke of the Germans, all right? I will not be ruled from across the Alps. I will gain my independence, and if it means that I have to fight for it. Um, now, in the elective su uh, succession faction, if I had some allies, I would be a huge friend of it. Show me your, your vassals, please. Hey, buddy. You wanna join... Anybody wanna join my faction? Nobody? Nobody at all? Alright, Ambudman Severo of Pado uh, Padova claims that he would be a better spy master. Who gives a crap, dude? Mm. I don't like this. I know we're part of the Prosperity Faction, which is nice and all, but... What do you mean a call to arms? The faction is ready to rise up against Herzogo... Uh, Her ah, right. Absolutely not. I'm not going to do this. So we could do it, but I'm not going to. Ambarman Severo expresses his wish. Just get out of here, dude. Oh, wait. Actually, you're important. Aha. What are you good at? Marshal? Spy master. Excellent as a spy master. So I might as well put you in there. Oh, but he's... This is the only thing he's good at is the thing, though. Hmm. I put you over there. Then I'm going to put him in probably as... This, yeah, sure. Ah, so we can't rise up right now, but the war here for Zeringen is over because he just took it. Lack of exercise and frequent snakes are turning young Anas Anzadizio in, into a stout young man. Against Sturdy, sure. Don't see why not. He's the one with the claim, yeah, I remember him. I brought him up. And I think I shall marry you off matrilineally to Alba. Nobody can push your claim. And I'm done with you. Yeah, look at look at her. She has no influence. She is under 
her, of course, but, you know, nothing's gonna happen to us. I don't, I don't think she's gonna push it in any meaningful way, anyway. Ah, but the question remains, how do we get out of this? And I will answer this, hopefully, in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, I want Proud Bavarian, and this was... HIP. Later. Alligator. <laughs>